When I married Maggie three years ago, I thought I had found the perfect partner. We both came into the marriage with daughters from previous relationships. Maggie had Amber, who was 12 at the time, and I had Jill, who was 11. From the very beginning, the girls got along great. They quickly became friends and I was thrilled to see our two families blending so seamlessly. But over time I started to notice small things that made me question whether Maggie truly saw Jill as equal to Amber. At first it was just little things. One day I came home from work and saw Amber wearing Jill's favorite sweater, a cozy oversized knit that Jill had received from her grandmother. When I asked Maggie about it she brushed it off saying that the sweater was too big for Jill and that Amber needed something warm to wear. I'll get Jill a new one next week, she promised. I didn't think much of it at the time, but next week came and went, and Jill never got a new sweater. Then there were the earrings. Jill had a beautiful pair of silver earrings that she cherished. They were her first pair of grown-up earrings, and she wore them whenever she could. One afternoon I noticed Amber wearing them. When I asked Maggie about it, she said, oh Jill's ears broke out when she wore them so I let Amber borrow them. I'll pick Jill up some new ones next week. Again the new earrings never materialized and Amber continued to wear Jill's. But the final straw came when Jill's favorite necklace went missing. It was a simple gold chain with a small heart pendant. Nothing fancy, but it had been a gift from her mother, and Jill was heartbroken when she couldn't find it. We searched the house from top to bottom, but it was nowhere to be found. A few days later, I saw Amber wearing it. I confronted Maggie, and she admitted that she had given the necklace to Amber because she liked it so much, and that Jill could share. That was when Jill came to me in tears saying that she wanted to go live with her mother full time. She said she felt like she didn't matter in our home that everything she had was taken away and given to Amber. That's when the truth came out. Maggie had been systematically giving Jill's belongings to Amber, making excuses and promises that she never kept. Jill felt like she was always second to Amber and it broke my heart to see her so hurt. I couldn't believe it. I had trusted Maggie to treat Jill with the same love and care that she showed Amber but it was clear that she hadn't. I tried talking to Maggie about it but she didn't see the problem. She insisted that it was just sharing and that Jill needed to learn to be more generous. But it wasn't about sharing, it was about fairness and respect. Jill's belongings were hers and she had the right to keep them. I realized that Maggie would always put Amber first, no matter how it affected Jill. I couldn't stand by and watch my daughter be treated like she was less important. So I made the difficult decision to end our marriage, I filed for divorce and moved out with Jill. She's now living with her mother full time and I see her every weekend. She's happier now, and I know I made the right decision for her well-being. But sometimes I wonder if I did the right thing. Was I wrong to end my marriage over this? Was I being too protective of Jill? Or was I right to stand up for her? I know marriage is about compromise but I couldn't compromise on this. I couldn't let Jill feel like she was second best in her own home. So, am I the asshole for divorcing my wife because she put her kids first? Or was I justified in standing up for my daughter and making sure she knew she was just as important as anyone else?